Hi, I'm Oren Zucker, and on behalf of Dan Eberts, welcome to the first official Monkey Cam Pro tutorial. Monkey Cam Pro is a standalone script for After Effects that was inspired by the Monkey Cam that's included in most of our other Monkey scripts. We redesigned it and added a lot of new bells and whistles. At its heart, it's a procedural camera that targets the active layers in your comp. It also includes a group of effects controls on the master control layer. These controls give you a lot of additional options. If you're familiar with any of our other monkey scripts, this will be pretty easy to figure out. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to start with my audio track and put markers down where I want transitions to take place. I can adjust these later so they don't have to be exact. You don't have to start with an audio track, but I thought it might be a good way to show you how to use marker sync later on. Now I'll import these illustrator files and use the composition layer size setting. This is important because layer size is what Monkey Cam Pro uses to auto frame and add them to my comp. Since Monkey Cam Pro will automatically target any layer that's 3D, unlocked, and has its video switch turned on, I'm going to switch them all on, click their continuously rasterize button because they're vector files, and move them around a bit, scale, rotate, whatever. Now I need to lock a few of these layers so they won't be targets. These will be layers that the camera won't stop on. You can shy them too, it doesn't really matter, but it might keep the timeline a bit cleaner. Okay, so we've pretty much gotten to the point where we can use Monkey Cam Pro. We've set up our art, we're ready to go. Let's go to the UI, turn Marker Sync on, set my movement type, speed, and leave everything else in the default setting. Before clicking Do It, I need to select the marker layer in the timeline that I want Marker Sync to reference. And click Do It. Monkey Cam Pro will create a camera that moves from one target layer to the next. Label all the target layers yellow and shy them. It also creates an orange master control layer that has the timing markers, and if you click on it, you'll see a bunch of effects pop up in the effects panels window. I'll go over these in more detail later on, so I'm just going to mess around a bit and show you how easy it is to add some perspective, drift, depth of field, lens jitter, And I can go back and make changes to the UI by clicking Undo It. And it'll ask me if I want to save the master control layer, which I do, since I have my retime markers on there, as well as these changes I just made to the effects controls. After I make a few changes, I can reselect my marker sync layer and click Do It again. And when it asks me if I want to copy my previous effects settings to my new master control layer, I'll click Yes. I could still move my layers around, play with more effect settings, keyframe changes. You can see how simple it is to create very complex camera animations with just a few clicks. It's designed to be very intuitive and easy to control. For the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to have Monkey Cam Pro transition between a bunch of pre comps that I moved around and rotated in 3D space. I'll turn Marker Sync on, adjust the movement to Extreme my transition speed to sloth, turn auto frame to best fit, turn the camera light on, and click do it. Oh yeah, I gotta select my sync layer, and now click do it. Once that's done, I'll turn depth of field on and hit render. I'm going out for coffee, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the tutorial. Let's break down the elements of the script. There are three basic parts of the Monkey Cam Pro UI. The first specifies the order of your target layers, then comes the marker section, and finally the main camera section. There's also a group of effects controls created after the build. Monkey Cam Pro will see any 3D layer that's not locked or has its eyeball turned off. Text, vectors, Photoshop files, nulls, solids, precomps, JPEGs, shape layers, video, whatever. It won't recognize 2D layers, adjustment layers, lights, or other cameras. After the build is done, you can still move, precomp, swap out, rearrange, or adjust the timings of layers. The layer section is pretty straightforward. It tells the monkey cam in what order to process your layers when creating the target control. You have a choice of top, bottom, or random. I've covered markers many times in our other tutorials, and there's not really much to be added here. But the most important thing to know is that in Monkey Cam Pro, the markers fall at the midpoint of the move. Strategies on how to create and work with marker sync layers will be posted on the product page. 
the camera section. This is the part of the script UI that actually controls how the camera moves. There's tons of combinations that can give you a wide variety of camera moves. The first section is the movement section. There are nine basic motion types to choose from. It's pretty self-explanatory. The top section contains the eases, and under that are the more physics-based moves, then linear, and lastly, a simple cut from one camera position to the next. If you select cut, many of the options of the UI are disabled, since they deal with motion, and cut doesn't have any. We're going to skip both crash and include camera light and go over them in the effects section. All you need to know for now is that if these boxes are checked, a couple extra effects controls will pop up in the master control effects panel. Also, if crash is selected, the ease type will be defaulted to ease in, since the physics behind crash only allow for that type of ease. Ease types controls when the movement you select will occur, at the start of the camera move, at the end, or both. Note that linear and cut don't have an ease type, so that drop-down is deactivated when one of those is selected. Continuity controls the overall motion. It's defaulted to pause, and as you can guess, the camera will automatically pause on each layer. The length of the pause is determined by the length of the time between the markers, as well as the settings in the transition speed drop-down in the script UI. The other setting, continuous, will create a constant move between layers, but keep in mind, other UI settings can affect that movement. So, if you have a continuous with an ease selected, it will appear to ease to a stop and then keep going. Transition speed sets the amount of time it takes for the camera to move from one layer to the next and only applies to the pause setting. Since these aren't based on a hard frame count, the timing isn't exact, but it basically amounts to fast, one third of a second, medium, one half a second, slow, one second, and slot, three seconds. Monkey Cam Pro will adapt the speed of the move to the time between markers. So, for example, if you select slot and you only have 10 frames between markers, Monkey Cam will adjust the time so it's as slow as possible for the time you've allotted. Auto Frame will cause the camera to move closer or farther away in order to consistently frame each target layer. There are four basic settings. Effects Controls. These are the additional controls that are located on the effects panel of the master control layer. They're controls that can be keyframed or just use as static modifiers to the camera settings. They break down into a number of different controls which I'll go through. Camera Wiggle allows you to control the amount and speed of a random position and rotation fluctuation applied to the camera. The end result is like a handheld camera effect. Drift Speed causes the camera to move toward or away from the target layer at a constant rate. It resets itself and starts again at the next marker. You can set the speed and the direction of the drift by adjusting the slider. A positive setting will move the camera toward the layer, a negative setting will move it away. Vertigo. Vertigo is based on the old zoom dolly effect made popular by Alfred Hitchcock. It's basically drift with a zoom component. The zoom counteracts the effect of the camera motion, giving you this weird compressed or expanded space effect. Lens jitter. Lens jitter will add a very quick random motion to the lens settings, which will occur at the end of the move. It gives you a high energy lens lockup or finding focus effect, kind of like what J.J. Abrams does every 30 seconds or so. You have individual controls that control the amount and frequency of each effect. As with most of these effects, you can also keyframe them on and off so they can be used sparingly. Glitch is a quick random X or Y slide that can occur at any point in the move. There are amounts and frequency controls. Crash controls are applied when crash is selected in the script UI. The crash always occurs at the end of the move, and like the others, you have control over the intensity. Lastly is light controls, which is created when camera light is selected in the script UI. This control gives you the option of having a variety of light effects that happen at the end of a move. You have a choice of strobes, flashes, and light leaks. Monkey Cam Pro is designed to automatically rotate to match any X, Y, or Z rotation of the target layer. However, in the case of a layer already having a 2D rotation when imported, such as a Photoshop or an Illustrator layer, or if you want to override the layer's rotation, we've created a series of key commands that force a camera's rotation. These commands can be used to rotate the camera in increments of 90 degrees. You can see these key commands by clicking the question mark button at the top of the script UI. The way it works is that you would insert one of these commands at the beginning of the layer's name to force a camera rotation. For example, if your layer is named Layer 1, you can force a 90 degree clockwise camera rotation by changing the name to this. 
So those are the basics of Monkey Cam Pro. There's more info in the user's guide and in the FAQ section on the product page. I'll be posting more tutorials in a little bit, so please check back soon. On behalf of Dan Eberts, I'm Warren Zucker. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your new monkey.